here is a horizontal surface. I place it on this. It is not moving. Okay. Now I am going to lift it and there is an angle between the two surfaces. Has it moved? No. Has the duster moved? No. Has it moved? No. 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 Yes. Now it moves. So we find for a particular angle it does not move. For this angle it does not move. For this angle it does not move and it can stay up to this angle. It can now it moves. So there is a particular angle up to which it will not move. Just we cross that limit and it will start moving. That angle is known as angle of repose. Angle of repose for what? Answer angle of repose for these two surfaces. This and this because there is a friction between these two surfaces. Why it is not moving? The friction is holding it. Now the friction is holding it. So this is angle of repose. Now I make it and do the calculations. This is our horizontal surface and I make only that situation when it was just going to start motion. Okay. It is at this angle say alpha when it is just at the verge of motion. If I increase it a little it will move. So this is the maximum angle where it can stay not beyond this. So this is a limiting case again. Now in this limiting case what are the forces acting on it? Answer there is this force acting mg and that is all. Now this mg has got two components. One component is along the surface we make this. If this angle is alpha we create one this and one line which is perpendicular to this line. That is this line perpendicular to it. This angle we can prove this angle is alpha. Geometrically you can also prove it. If this angle is alpha then normal on this is this and this angle is alpha. So this is also alpha. If this is alpha then this component in the vector chapter we have done it. This component will be mg cos alpha and this component will be mg sin alpha. So we can forget mg and say there are two forces acting on it. One is mg cos alpha which is pressing the surface. One is mg sin alpha which is bringing it down. So when this surface is pressed by mg cos alpha, this surface react back and here it gives a force of reaction normal reaction. How much is this normal reaction? mg cos alpha because action is equal to reaction. Action on the body is equal to reaction on this object. Okay. Now mg sin alpha is acting in this direction and it is not moving. If it is the only force acting on it, it should move. So we give a conclusion that if it is not moving there must be and there must be force of friction acting on it in opposite direction which is balancing it friction. And this is the limiting case last point. It is not moving. If it is not moving then friction is equal to this. So here we have two equations one in this direction and one in this direction. This direction equation gives us what? mg cos alpha is equal to r is equal to mg cos alpha and this direction gives us friction is equal to mg sin alpha. 
force of friction is equal to mg sin alpha and reaction is equal to mg cos alpha. Now, we divide these two and after division we get friction upon reaction is equal to mg cancel sin alpha upon cos alpha that gives tangent of alpha here. So, but friction upon normal reaction this we already know this is equal to mu. So, mu is equal to tangent alpha. What is mu? Mu is coefficient of friction. We have also done in the previous exercise that mu is equal to tangent theta. And what is theta here? Theta is angle of friction that we have done theoretically in the previous lecture. So, this tan alpha is equal to friction upon normal reaction. This is equal to coefficient of friction. This is equal to angle of friction. So, you must remember all these relations. And this tan alpha is equal to tan theta. This gives us a proof that angle of repose is angle of friction. Right? So, here if I put it this way here and I put it here, I increase the angle 10 degree, 20 degree, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 37 is the angle of repose for plastic and the wool. That is angle of repose. Now, if I see tangent of theta, that gives me coefficient of friction. Another relation, if I know weight of that duster, normal reaction I multiply here, I can find out friction. It is so easy to find out force of friction. R, R here is how much? R here is mg cos alpha. So, this is mg cos alpha multiplied by tan alpha that is mg sin alpha. So, once I know alpha, we can always find friction is equal to mg sin alpha. Mu is equal to tan alpha. So, many calculations can be done with angle of repose and finding angle of repose, angle of friction is very easy in the laboratory. Just make the inclination, the moment it starts sliding that is angle of repose. So, this is angle of repose which gives us practically all these quantities. Thank you.